Hello and welcome to uh, Canis River. You can see the skies are nice and blue and beautiful in this place. And we got a game between Napalm and Throatist. EF versus Cybern. I get, well, it's hard to give an advantage actually. Probably EF an advantage. Throatist going first there, three P gens. And of course, Napalm here going first land. He does have a YouTube channel, some pretty good videos. Hopefully, he starts putting up a couple of his gameplay videos as well as some highlights. Um, but he already has some great ones. People should check it out. It's uh, if you go on the main channel page on the right side, there's a bunch of subcom channels. In case you don't know that, definitely a good place to check. And uh, I've also been putting, uh, this is a good bomber as a scout. Great dodge there from Napalm. Now we see a couple flags coming out. I'll slow this down. For Napalm, this bomber just got run away. There's another pass. That was another good, good motion. If you move toward the bomber, the bomber doesn't drop if you get lucky. So... Good defense with three flag from Napalm. Throw it as to the old land factory. I've been putting a bunch of uh, top ten and uh, reviews and things like that from uh, Supreme Commander Forge Alliance uh, in the link description. Hopefully people vote this game up wherever they can just so it gets a little more exposure. All the uh, basically uh, exposure of this game is going to be word of mouth from people. So it would be great to share this. Napalm going with the yet another land factory. Total of four land factories, not thinking about air at all. Throw us to quite a bit behind in terms of build capacity, just getting the Hydra. Let's have a couple land factories planned and quite a few here on top. Be a great target for Napalm. Napalm of course with these three flags which can shoot at ground so they can take unlight assault bots. Perhaps three of them can almost take it on a tank. It would be a pretty close battle. Let's see the Fort Land Factory finishing up. And the two ACUs move it out into the middle. They're not going to move toward each other, it doesn't seem. But a stream of tanks going down to the bottom choke point from Throatest. Some Manta there as well. So here it's a 1v1, definitely a tank. But it looks like the, this is going to be a 2v1 easy win for napalm we got a, a chase and the manta a little quicker and a 2v1 once again great stuff from these manta although here it looks like the third tank will finish them off interceptors from uh, throw dust getting a recon no point of making those if you don't see the player making interceptors continue to make bombers throw us here on the other side and here we got the flak taking on the tank with some manti so so far domination from uh, napalm although this tank here with three kills takes out an engineer this is a good tank as well it takes out a radar so a couple good successes there for throw dust now sitting on uh, four land factories actually five land factories and an air factory and we can see finally an air factory, a sixth land factory coming up. And a large uh, team here of Manti down the left side plus the ACU. In terms of map control, we do see an advantage for Napalm. For the most part, controls his uh, side of the river plus has a nice uh, attacking force moving in. Throw this ACU getting, getting his first kill. Trying to cut this force off. And it looks like it's going to be good defense here, focusing fire. A lot of good wrecks for throw dust, although uh, these Manta seem to always get through. On the other side now, uh, we see bombers from Napalm targeting the power. That's always good. Three bombs takes that out. Some flak, stationary flak coming out from throw dust. And uh, it looks like total air domination now from Napalm. He's got a whole bunch of build capacity on the air factory had a whole bunch of power which allows him to do that much more power than uh, than throw dust of course you don't want to be flying over flak this whole time although this does have an effect of changing this army into a flak army 
allow Napalm to move in. Napalm here upgraded his ACU. This is the advantage of the Manti. They can use, be used as engineers to speed things up. I believe 10 of these will build as fast as an engineer, so 10 of those will double your speed here at Tech 1. You can see uh, that was a pause on all the factories to get that uh, upgrade. And this is going to be a sneaky force from throw. This is going to put a uh, quite a bit of trouble, especially if you can take out this power. It's really the best target. A big retreat from Napalm. He still has a pretty good force next to the ACU. And actually now map, map control evening out. Here throw this at three kills, picking up a couple mask extractors. And inside of a Napalm's base, three mask extractors were lost, but a whole bunch of mass left over. So not that good of an attack if you would have gone all the way to the corner and start killing the power would have been great plus this power storage. You want to pull your enemy apart as far as possible. If they're gonna follow you, make them follow you. Especially if they're good targets there. You can see Napalm now with the gun. No stealth, might as well get the stealth, but you can see this gun. Higher fire rate. This ACU is going to get a lot of kills, 30 kills already. This is Siren versus EEF dominating a whole bunch of wrecks all over the place. This would be a great opportunity to get that. And now we are seeing a throw to his base in trouble. Napalm moving in. And uh, Throda is realizing he's in quite a bit of trouble. This issue just ran him over. On Canis, I've seen more than half the games are decided by the gun. Whoever gets the gun on the ACU first really dominates because the base is so close. As soon as you lose the choke point, you've basically got an ACU inside your base killing things. Seeing 60 kills. Total air domination. Seeing a lot of factors here in the back for throw desk, so he still could have had a chance if he had a lot of power, because in terms of mass, there's really not that much problems. Throw desk now moving in with 18 kills. See an emergency point defense going up for Napalm. Actually, throw desk kind of going in uh, all in. It'd be very difficult to break through this push lead. Now, now this point defense will cut off his uh, retreat. Napalm building a new base. throw dust, 30 kills, getting bombed, and this game is over after uh, 13 minutes. I hope people enjoyed this one. It's a short one, but uh, I like short ones. Like this one. A lot less uh, work. Not as much talking. And uh, hopefully people enjoyed this one.